by an ominous feeling. After the bell rang, it seems as though the resentment in the depths of the mountain has grown. Ah, oh, forget it. Overthinking won't help. Your presence has already made a mess in the mountain. Monsters on the high! Who defies death? He fed the sky! Oh, I missed that my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Two more jars from Windrest. Make it quick. Two more jars from Windrest. Make it quick. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. Ugh. You should eat more, skinny. Off we go, to the Temple of Crouching Tiger.
Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. Help me score a tasty treat for you. Help me score a tasty treat for you. Oh, it drives me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm, and somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm, I just tried those rackwise. They taste like men flesh. Hmm, its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. Hmm, it's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm, I just tried those rackwise. see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold, be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's not an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the earth's embrace. When awakened, it will devour all souls across its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the tongue monk using the new power, and battles with soon Wukong upon the yellow wind ridge. The Gwai's formidable winds failed the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Linji, tongue monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush yellow wind ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. <laughs> You bested my vanguard. Then you do indeed have skills. That Yaogwai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. There is only one way to hold up this Yaogwai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then the Yaogwai will be mine.
here, at the western end of the world. Each day, the sun sets with her point. I was, uh, I was on a treasure hunt, but I ended up being hunted. Uh, I owe you my life, sir. I'll share the treasure with you once I find it. Say, why is there nothing but Yagwais in this so-called Buddha's realm? Uh, can I look to you to save me again, sir, if they come back? Green without, round and sweet. Red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? Green without, round and sweet. Red within, a summer treat. Where can I find something like that in this frozen land? I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. It seemed like certain death. But suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. The word that he fled from the cliff. But this story may offer a clue to my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Uh, don't let me keep you, sir. I... But this story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. 
Don't let me kick you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. Time and again, how he tested you, and it's on nothing but gullible goodness. <laughs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life! <laughs> Foolhardy, nothing more! I've done as our brother asked. Shall we meet again? Led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <laughs> A nice ripe melon. <laughs> Want a bite? <laughs> it's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? But your sake, I appreciate and thank you. But you gave me for an arms. Now, in compensation, I'll claim yours. Ah! Blade, speak to 
Find the needle on Purple Cloud Mountain! I might find your own. Young master, please forgive my impropriety. I am but a widow, here to mourn my late husband. Show some kindness and excuse my manners. We lived in peace in our mountaintop home. But out of nowhere, wicked insects swarmed the place. They occupied our village. I was the lone survivor. I intended to retrieve my late husband's keepsakes. But the Gwyth leader, the Scorpion Lord, has discouraged all my attempts with his death sting. Young master, are you heading up the mountain? Venomous Yagwais have infested the forest ahead. Take caution, or you may never make it back alive.
all these years apart, and they've marred you like this. I journeyed from Mowgli to delve into the mysteries of this valley. I didn't mean to hold this back from you. It was because I had to. I stayed my hand for my ties to his mother. That's why I called upon you. But how did you get this? I thought it was with the Hundred-Eyed Gwai. This may well be the design of destiny itself. I shall help you and restore its power. Consider this as my token of gratitude. A few strings dangling from the sky. No one knows whether they lead to weal or woe. Why does everyone buy to scale them? is relieved you're unharmed <laughs> well, consider yourself lucky i knew of you long ago the thing you seek the king must know about it <laughs> out of nowhere the whole mountain was infested with those stinking corpses some coffin carts blocked all the passes up burning everything in their path does it clever how about you find a way to destroy them eh they're called five element carts an evil and powerful invention of the king's son I'm afraid they're not only guarding the passes. Trust me, there's more to it. Not hold my ground at the entrance for a while. Can't imagine the chaos will help me. They're called Five Element Cots, an evil.
I tolerate no evil under my nose. I love my axe. Bring me more evidence so I can chop them up. Heed my words. The Red Boy's cart's are nothing more than a distraction. Thinks he can outwit me. <laughs> bah, that brat. <sighs> Make haste to head up the mountain. We must figure out what he is planning. Hm. They are called five element carts for a reason. What's your tally? <laughs> the entrance is secure for now. You can go first and I'll catch up with you later. The king once told me that each of the five carts has its own unique nature. The king once told me that each of the five carts... This is a guy they could do. Come handy. Not Since when did you start caring for that old bull? Do you not think you can hide your secret wish from me? You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother. The truth has been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> Well, gone already. Bad news after a good nap. He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. Decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. <laughs> you, go up this way. Jack, if any way leads up, I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there.
My king, he treated me well. To die for him, I would not regret it. But I failed, brother. Failing his mission is what I regret. My king must have done something reckless for that dumb boy. The truth, I wager, lies beyond that door. And that cat's account was no match for me. I went easy on it. That's all. Quite a good match you are. But remember, don't be swayed. Stay true.
lost a babe, this child be born. But he never knew my struggles. <laughs> How can we but follow the master's word? Rakshasi, you know it was he who made you drink from the river of childbearing. Shut it. You shall never speak of it. The king knows why I had to drink it. But I haven't glimpsed him ever since then. He made it another reason for his absence. Rakshasi, your husband shirks a dishonor this way. He granted you this cave with his Mount Bijouet beast as a sentinel. He's compromised enough for the sake of our master. You will seal your lips on this. Our family would be doomed if anyone knew the truth behind this child. Fear not. Master bids me aid you in secret. You and the bull, you will rear this child to manhood. And when the boy comes of age, on that day, he will be living proof of the dark deeds of Mount Shan. In his steps you've trod, from his eyes you've seen. The circle has led you back. Have you been in truth? <laughs> Long has an old friend waited for you. Destiny ripens. This last mural holds the key. Go forth. No one sees this myth more clearly than him. I must greet you in this bitter cold without a heart. There's no easy feat getting here. I know you didn't come to keep me company. In your heart, there must be something you can't get over. Or someone you can't let go of. Same goes for me. I can't kill that monkey. No one can. Except himself. But at last, I see. This is the only way. He had no choice. And neither did I. <laughs> Today's clash didn't satisfy my spirit. Go back with me to the sky. Let us get drunk before we continue this fight.
to think of an everyday sense of truth. I hear tell this Yahweh is I rank a thousand fold of that sheep. As his sire he reveals me, and like a deity he serves me. Okay, I think I'm his slave. Kindly chant the Lutheran spell and release that, like a tap, so that you can take back my head, man. Only I shall be free of the court. The Yahweh said he moves me to the court. Surely he's only a mortal. He must be somebody from the court. You're right. The journey ends here. The lies is going to bring content. Just go watch the mail, lick it off, and break free. The womb is his. My brothers tested you at my behest, all oh, first day. And only now do I understand that fight. 
No prestige can shackle him. No band can keep him caged. A mortal death for an unbound mind will. May you not fail him. And now at peace. Your journey, though, has just begun.